Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, Internal Medicine Physician. Welcome to another video. I'm going to present to you in this video why I believe that sugar is more dangerous than cigarette smoking. Yes, I really just said that. And I'm going to attempt to give you a coherent reason why, that you can understand and you can realize the danger of consuming sugar. And unfortunately, millions of people are consuming way too much sugar. And before I get into this topic, I want to stress two things. The first is that I'm not negating the effects of cigarette smoking. Everybody knows that cigarette smoking is dangerous and harmful for one's health. There's no argument about that, although it must be said that only a few decades ago, doctors were promoting cigarette smoking. They were advertising it. And there are many people who remember that doctors in hospitals used to smoke on ward rounds. There are many people out there who remember doctors smoking in their clinics. Imagine that. It seems unthinkable now. So that's the first point. The second point that I want to stress is that I am not saying that you can never ever eat sugar. I'm not being extreme here. What I'm saying is that people are consuming too much sugar in ridiculous quantities that were unthinkable a few decades ago. I have a sweet tooth just as much as everyone else. You may find that hard to believe, but I enjoy the odd sweet treat every now and again, but I keep it to an absolute minimum because I believe that sugar is highly inflammatory and toxic, so I want to keep it to an absolute minimum. So let's dive in then to why I believe that sugar is so dangerous and why the sugar industry is currently responsible for maiming, diseasing, and yes, killing more people than big tobacco did. Here we go. Firstly, let's talk about sugar consumption, which has absolutely exploded over the last few decades. We are consuming sugar now in unbelievable quantities. In fact, it's estimated that the average American now consumes almost 20 teaspoons of sugar every day. That's over 75, 80 grams of sugar. Many people more than this. Now, our ancestors, our great grandparents would be horrified if they knew how much sugar we were consuming because they consumed much less, frequently under 30 grams a day. So what's happened over the last few decades? And remember, statistics for children are not far off. Children are also consuming ridiculous amounts of sugar, and we're now seeing the health effects of that. Now, where is all of this sugar? Sugar is a hallmark of ultra-processed foods. It is estimated that over 70% of all calorie intake now in America is ultra-processed foods. These are the packaged foods, foods that come in containers. When you check the ingredient labels, typically foods in the middle aisles of grocery stores in the United States, when you check the ingredient labels, it is shocking. And food corporations often deliberately hide sugars. There are over a hundred different names now for sugars. They go by many different names, syrups, etc. You have to be very, very careful. It's in all types of foods. Now, of course, you expect sugar in candies, but it's also found in many breads. And of course, drinks, sodas. Many people drink sodas every day, and it's basically like drinking sugar water. So that's where all this sugar is coming from in our foods and drinks these days. And the problem with consuming all of this sugar is that our bodies simply are not built for it. Our bodies never have been built to consume this amount of sugar, and they never will be. It sets people up immediately for inflammation and chronic diseases. We have sugar overload. People who consume too much sugar, their body has no idea what to do with it. Insulin is secreted in vast quantities. Other inflammation takes place. De novo lipogenesis happens. Obesity is promoted. All of the other associated diseases, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, other inflammatory diseases, all from ridiculous amounts of sugar. So where are the public health campaigns? Really, where are they, considering that this is such a problem and we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg? Just wait a few years and see what happens because the trajectory is not changing. And I would challenge any health authority out there to refute me on the following statement. If somebody smokes and starts off at a young age, say as an adolescent, it will take decades often for the health problems to manifest. Now, again, I'm not saying that smoking is okay, but it will take years for that person to develop chronic airways disease, for that person to develop other health effects. But if people consume too much sugar, the health effects manifest within one to two years. When was the last time you saw a young person who smokes, say someone in their 20s with a lung mass? 
It may happen, but it's very rare. Usually lung cancer happens later in life in people who have smoked for years and years. But people who consume too much sugar, they get health problems much earlier. And we're seeing this now. We're seeing adolescents with fatty liver disease, with type 2 diabetes. Obesity is going through the roof mainly because of excessive sugar consumption. Now, of course, there are other reasons why as well, but sugar is a major reason why millions and millions of people are being afflicted with diseases because of this. And how did this sugar industry become so powerful? Have you ever thought about that? I've talked about it before, and this information is all openly available for those of you who are awake enough and want to seek out the truth and what really happened. And it goes back, no surprises, to high-level US corruption in the 1950s and 60s. Many organizations were pushing the notion that sugar was okay to consume in vast quantities, including the Sugar Research Foundation. They were basically bribing Harvard scientists and the New England Journal of Medicine, those bastions of medicine and science, were totally bribed and corrupted. Is it really any different today? But because of these organizations allowing themselves to be captured and the medical establishment, of course, being completely silent and complicit, we have seen a catastrophe unfold. And it's getting worse year by year as people consume more and more sugar. It's part of a billion dollar industry in the United States, the sugar industry, and it's part of a larger industry, the trillion dollar food industry, corporations that are feeding people this ultra processed junk. And my goodness, do societies, the government, the medical establishment need to wake up on this? Because I will say again, the sugar industry today is responsible for diseasing, maiming and killing more people than big tobacco did. And just like tobacco and cigarettes, sugar is an extremely addictive substance. Most people are drawn to sugar and a sweet taste. And food corporations know this. That's why they're doing this, to get people hooked and to make more money. And eventually we will reach the point where there will be more public awareness of this problem. But we're not there yet. And in the meantime, I want you all to know that if you are the average American, I trust most people who watch my videos are probably making efforts to improve their health, but you can certainly spread the word around. People are consuming sugar in ridiculous quantities and do not underestimate how much your life will change if you cut back on sugar consumption. Read those labels in grocery stores. Be very careful in the United States about the middle aisles of grocery stores. Sugar is added to absolutely everything these days. Often you don't know when you are consuming sugar. Take every effort to minimize sugar and ultra-processed foods and you will experience significant improvements to your physical and mental health within weeks a lot of the time. And I want to stress again, I am not saying that you can never enjoy sugar and the odd sweet treat, but people are consuming sugar in very dangerous quantities. And the sugar industry, the big corporations and large segments of the medical establishment who benefit financially from people being sick know this. So please be aware that this temptation is all around you. And especially if you have younger children in your life, do everything you can to avoid them becoming sugar addicts at a young age and then suffering the health consequences. Because 50, 60 years ago, young kids did not consume sugar like it's being consumed today. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online academy. That link is also down below. Remember, huge swathes of healthcare and medicine are completely and utterly corrupted. And one of the best things you can do for your health and your family's health is take your health into your own hands. Realize that a lot of the advice you are being given is being given by people and institutions with other agendas. Do your own research. Make those right decisions. We've got one life and we owe it to ourselves and our bodies to be as careful as possible. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.